Well, first of all, I have to say that I'm a, I'm a big fan of uh, electric vehicles. Um, personally, privately, um, I own the, the LEAF and um, I almost use it every day in Tokyo. Um, of course, I've driven the Nismo RC as well, uh, in Fuji as well, and I've been really waiting for an opportunity to drive a much faster electric vehicle. And um, I'm really, really happy that I was asked to demonstrate the Ziot in Fuji. This is uh, really a unique opportunity and uh, not only are we going to demonstrate the car, it's going to be my first lap in the car, in public. So it's not something that normally is done, normally the driver practices first and gets used to a car, but we're going we're gonna to do public testing, so called, while doing a demonstration. So I think it's really um, uh, super exciting, especially about the, the long straight in Fuji and I can't wait to see uh, what the top speed is. I think Lucas Ordon is, um, as, a, as the development driver and test driver for the Zio RC is absolutely fantastic. Um, yes, everybody thinks he just comes from PlayStation and so on and uh, what does he really know. But I've worked with uh, Lucas now for, for a while, we finished third in Le Mans together and um, recently we've been testing the Nissan Altima in uh, Australia together and I have to say um, his skills not only as a driver but as, as, develop, as a development driver has been really rising a lot and I've seen him at work, see him talk to the engineers and I think Lucas is absolutely ready for that job and I wish him luck and uh, I, I'm sure it's a, it's a big opportunity for Lucas as well as a racing driver uh, and I'm sure the Nissan Z RC will go into the right direction with Lucas. Well, Le Mans is a, is a, is a big event, a big race in Japan, actually. Um, when we raced this year in Le Mans, um, the, at the Nissan headquarters, uh, the, the Nismo, they have this live streaming and uh, everything is followed 24 hours long. So um, it's actually far away from Japan, but it's almost the same coverage like in Europe on TV. Um, so the, there's a big fan group and when I raced for uh, Nissan in Le Mans in 98 and 99, um, which is a long time ago, but uh, there were so many Japanese fans, so many Nissan fans with all the flags in Le Mans, 24 hours waving the flags for us, just as they do with the Super GT. Um, so, so it's, it's absolutely a fantastic opportunity to show all of the fans this car. We're going to go to Le Mans with this car. We show it to you and hopefully make them all come to Le Mans.